Hey guys, how's it going? Mason Zero ASMR here. A little bit of a different video today. I'm going to be playing a mock game of magic, and I think I might have to adjust my tripod a little bit because this is out of the way. <laughs> so hold on just a second. <laughs> I should just restart the video to be honest, but that's okay. Moving the camera around. Okay, this will work, right? <laughs> Hopefully it's still picking up my sound okay. So what I'm going to do today is test out a couple decks that I've built recently. They are both standard decks. Um, it is Friday, April 15th, so Shadows Over Innistrad has been standard for a couple weeks. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to test a couple decks. On the left we have a Esper Control deck. It doesn't have everything that I want in it. Um, I'm just trying out some things that aren't normally played in there, and some staples in the new standard. Um, approximate value of it is about $170 of, of a rough count, maybe it's less. Obviously it depends where you're getting those numbers from. Uh, the deck on the right <coughs> is a green and black uh, Beldrazi ramp deck, kind of. I don't have any of the bomb Eldrazi that I really want, but uh, I'm going to see how it goes. So, um, get my dice. Get a life total for each deck. And try to make sure that you guys can see everything. Move these over. It's the biggest number goes first. Of course they're the same. And of course they're the same again. Alright, one and six. So purple decks go in first. I'll show you guys the hand. Cryptolitherite, Nintuko Husk, Oath of Nyssa, Catacomb Sifter, Scion Summoner, Kalidus, and Blisterbun. Well, that's a no land hand, so we're gonna mulligan that one. <laughs> Some good one drops and three drops, but no land equals no plays, especially going first. I'm gonna play. So let's try that again. I think both of these decks are gonna be pretty fun. I'm excited to test them out against myself today. <laughs> I like doing this sometimes, gives a general feel for how the decks are gonna, gonna play. Okay, six, one, two, three. Four, five, six. <clears throat> I don't like this either, but I think we're gonna take it. Let's scry. It's a den protector. I think we'll keep that on top. Take this hand. Put it right down there. Now let's try this deck. Swamp, Shambling Vent, Eerie Interlude, Crest of Darkness, Swamp, Swamp, and Reflector Mage. This is tempting. I think we'll keep it and then hope we get a blue source. So, let's go. Let us start with. Let's just start with the forest. Move this direction. <clears throat> Pass. Oh, good. We got the island that we needed. Let's play a shambly event to start with. Drums intent. Threat. Creatures you control have tap. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. This is a fun card. I think it's going to be really fun with all drowsy scions running around. <coughs> Pass the turn. Um, since we can't play the Reflector Mage yet, let's play a Swamp in case we need to use Grasp of Darkness. And then next turn we'll play the Island and the Reflector Mage. If all else stays fine, but we'll leave up the Grasp of Darkness in case this deck plays a creature. And draw. So seek the wilds, which yeah, we might end up playing. So 
land for turn. <clears throat> no use for gen protector yet. So let's do Seek the Wilds. Gray, green, and black. <clears throat> Look at the top four cards of your library. Reveal a creature or land, and put them put that into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library. One, two, three, four. Wow. World Breaker is very tempting. But we're very far away from it. We have a lot of big drops in our hand. So the Bearer of Silence also tempting. We don't have a colorless source though. Uh, how's the hand look? We have a lot of big drops in there. Once we get the Brood Monitor, we'll definitely be able to cast the World Breaker though. And the Bane of All Again. So you know what? Let's take the World Breaker. And then put these in the bottom. Let's take a risk and see what happens. the turn back. We gotta negate. So there's no point in playing the Reflector Mage because there's nothing to bounce. So we're just going to play an island in case we need to negate something. And we also still have Grasp of Darkness available to us. Alright, untap. Keep draw. We got a colorless land, so that's that's good. Cast that. So now we have four mana. Still is not enough to do anything. So let's just cast the Den Protector face down. Okay. Mm. Yeah. We got our six, seven, and seven drop here. <laughs> and then we'll just pass the turn back. Our Den Protector, which costs two to flip. Yes, two to make more. Draw. We pulled the Narset. So let's let's see. We could Wrath of Darkness face down card. It's probably our best course of action right now. We could Reflector Mage it, but since it doesn't have a name, I don't think that'll affect it. So let's let's do two for Grass of Darkness, targeting the face down card. Put my graveyard off the camera. Actually no. The graveyard up here. Alright, and then we'll play a swamp, and then we have the negate up in case we need it. So, dead protector goes to the yard, untap up, keep draw, this is Lissa's Indigar. Don't, don't have any protection for her, but we can make plant tokens. So let's let's do that. We'll play we'll play Nissa. Comes in a three loyalty. A little plus one her. Go to four. Get a plant token to protect her. And then actually I need to pull out a plant token. I had Nissa in my commander deck. I'm gonna grab and put her in this deck. So now we have a creature that we can use for ramp. So we have one, two, three, four, five mana available to us. And if we draw another land, we'll be able to cast the Brood Monitor, which will give us more ramp for the next turn. Now we could Grasp of Darkness the plant, but I don't think we're going to bother. We'll let our opponent ramp for now. Oh, day's undoing. Jesus. All right, our only land is the Swamp, so let's just play it. And then I, I guess we want to play Narset, I guess. There's really nothing better to do. So yeah, I said we play Narset. For four. Narset Transcendent. So, six loyalty. Let's plus one here. Look at the top card of our library. If it's a non-creature, non-land card, we can put it into our hand. Let's do that. Tragic Arrogance. It is a sorcery. 
So we put it into our hand. Fortunately, we don't have any mana up to do anything. So we'll just pass the turn. And see what happens. So the draw is spawning bed. Cool. That will be that will be nice. So we have two colorless sources now. And we have six mana. So let's tap tap all of it. And the plant, which we can tap for a mana, to play brood monitor. Brood monitor will get us three scions, which we can use for ramp. Double ramp, in fact, next turn if we need to. Since they uh, can be tapped for mana with Cryptolith, right? And then they can be sacked for a, for a colorless mana. And now let's make another plant. We'll plus Nissa. Make a, another plant token. Cool. And now I guess we just pass the turn. Nothing else to do. Unfortunately, we didn't have negate up for that, but that's okay. All right, we drew a sunken hollow, which we'll play. Mm. Now, hmm. tragic arrogance could be all right right now, because uh, we can choose one creature with them to keep and make them get rid of the rest, especially since they're going to ramp. Also, um, do a reflector mage on the brood monitor or grass of darkness. That'd be better. Um, hmm. With tragic arrogance, we get rid of everything but a plant token if we wanted to. So, that might be the right thing to do. We we do know that they have the world breaker because that card had to be revealed. So we do know that next turn they can cast it. If they draw a land, they'll be able to cast it anyways. But this will make it this will make it even better. Oh, do we have two white though? We do not have two white sources. So never mind, we can't do tragic arrogance. So let's just do the reflector mage. Uh, bouncing the brood monitor. Um, let's go ahead and plus one in our set. We have a non-creature spell. It is an enchantment that we cannot play because it has double white. That's awkward. All right, um, let's leave up blue and two black for negate. And a uh, grass of darkness. And let's pass the turn. And we're going to be facing down a world breaker this time. or Bane of the Ged. When we cast Worldbreaker, we exile an artifact, an enchantment, or land. So we get exile the white source. Bane of the Ged, defending player exiles two permanents, which could be more, more decisive right now, to be completely honest. So, tap six. Let's see, how much mana do we have access to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we can cast both the World Breaker and the Bane of Balagad. Let's do that. So we'll tap all of these and then sack these three. For 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right. Cool. Thank you, Cryptolith. Right. So Bane of Balagad, World Breaker. Boom. So when World Breaker is cast, you exile an artifact, enchantment, or land. You'll exile the Shambling Lint. And then whenever Bane and Ball get attacks, they exile two permanents. Cool. And now let's minus two Nissa. Three or three to put a counter on each creature we control. Make those Eldrazi just a little bit bigger. Well, that was a successful turn. <coughs> Unfortunately, we can't start attacking yet. 
so we pass the turn. Actually, I, God, I should have been looking at this uh, at this hand. I forgot what was in uh, the other deck's hand. So I'm actually going to negate uh, the Bane of Valged. That one was was cast first. So I'm gonna negate that. Now that I think about it, <laughs> completely forgot. Now we pass the turn back to the Esper deck, who now has no white sources. Until now, <laughs> get a white source. <clears throat> so the World Breaker is a 6 9, which is crazy. So we could bounce it with Yuri Interlude. That might be what we do. Or Stasis. No, we can't do Stasis Snare. We can't do Yuri Interlude. Let's first. Um, Hmm. Let's do nar plus Narset first. See if we hit anything. Alright, it's land. That's no good. Okay, so let's do Eerie Interlude. White, black, blue, whatever. Dragon's Reflector Mage, so we bounce it. It comes back. We'll send the World Breaker back with the Enter the Battlefield trigger. really all that we can do. Could do a day's undoing, but I don't think... Actually, I don't know. Eh. They can just recast the World Breaker, which is not beneficial to us. So how about... <clears throat> hmm. This is interesting. So we've bounced the World Breaker and the uh, Broodmonger. We know the both know that both of these are in the hand. And Days Undoing shuffles the hand and the graveyard back into, into the deck. And we draw a new hand. <coughs> uh, that could be beneficial to us, however, they have a lot of mana available to them still. So it's debatable. Isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we have some, they have some good stuff in their graveyard, so maybe we don't want to do that. Let's just pass the turn back, and then we can grasp the darkness something if they play something else. Not, uh, not the most fun thing, but it'll have to do. Yeah, draw, a swamp, more ramp. Let's see, if we do the brood monitor. Can we go into the world breaker from that? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah, there's plenty. So let's. So five, six. For brood monitor. Get three scions. So now, one, two, three, four, five, er, oh, we can't tap them yet, so one, two, three, four, five, six, nope, that doesn't work, I'm stupid, that's okay, we can do it next time, I think this is okay, so these are not, not tapped, oh, we can't cast the world breaker anyways, so, yeah, my mistake. We're fine. Let's yeah. let's tap that differently then. There we go. That's better. Get some tokens out here. And let's plus one this hand. Get a plant token. Hope that you guys are enjoying this video. It's a little bit different. So I'll just so end of their turn, let's do Grasp of Darkness on the Brood Monitor, so it doesn't stick around. <clears throat> Alright, our turn again. Draw. Planes, we knew that was there. Good, then we have another white 
source. So I think we're going to want to flash in the Stasis Snare when they play the World Breaker next turn. So we'll leave up two white and something else for that. So we can't do Tragic Arrogance. Day's Undoing isn't doing us much good right now, so let's plus Narset again. So that we get a Necromaster Dragon. Okay. This is one of the cards that I'm trying out in this deck. I don't have the expensive dragons. This deck may be an approximately $170 deck, but oops, but there's no Ojo Ties or Sleeping Cards in it. <sighs> oh wait. This plant is not does not have a counter on it. So I guess we can we could attack with the Reflector Mage. But, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Sure. We'll attack with the Reflector Mage, going for Nyssa. And then, I think it makes sense to block with a, with a plant. Yeah, sure. Okay. Pass it back. With all the ramp. The draw is another Brood Monitor. Whew. That's spicy. So let's do the Brood Monitor. Four, six, and getting three more Scions that have a Summoning Sickness. Uh, and then we'll tap the Forest. Tap three Scions, sack three Scions other six mana and world breaker and I guess what we want to do here since the only we can hit an artifact enchantment or land uh, I guess we're gonna take the the other white source and exile that so yeah and with Nissa I guess we just plus one again and get another plant. Okay. So now into their turn. We cannot do Stasis Snare or Tragic Arrogance. <laughs> so that's awkward. So now we pass the turn back and actually, no, the plants have counters on them. So we'll attack in our set. Alright, pass it back. Not looking good for Esper Control right now. Can't play either of these double white cards, unfortunately. Only one white source. Let's do a Necromaster Dragon for five. Actually, no. I'm stupid. Before that, let's, uh, let's plus Narset. Look at the card. It's a land. Okay, now I'll put the Necromaster Dragon. Alright, not much we can do here. This is awkward. We're going to pass it back. The draw is a Pulse of Marasa, which helps us nicely, I think. We can return a creature or land from the graveyard, from a graveyard to its owner's hand. So let's do a uh, green, and then just the two colorless lands that we have, move these four up, uh, and let's return a Bane of Falaged, I think. We could do a Den Protector, then return the Bane, that is an option. Sure, let's, hmm, now let's, um, Let's turn the bait ball again. I think. Yeah, let's just get it out now. And then we'll pay three, four, five, six, seven to play the bait ball again. Minus 
business though to get a counter on everything. Both up the team. Hmm. I assume they also gain six life for what it's worth. <clears throat> so now I think we just attack with the world breaker. For six. Actually, no. Attack with this too, since it's a 4 4. So I think the smart thing to do here is to block the World Breaker and we'll let the Brood Monitor go through and hit us for 4. Okay. Passing it back. Something hollow. So still not the extra white source we need, we might have to do a day's undoing. So let's plus Narset, see what we draw. Hmm? Land, okay, we're definitely going to do day's undoing. Let's start with Necromaster Dragon and attack with it, they don't have any flying things to block with. So it's going to deal four. And then I think we're going we're gonna to pay the two to put a zombie. And each opponent must top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Traverse the Uberwald and Sign Summoner for the hits. Let's get a zombie. And then let's do Days Undoing. Which not only ends the turn, but also shuffles. And this gets exiled. And the graveyard and hands of everybody gets shuffled back into their library. Real quick. And everyone draws seven cards again. So this should be fun. Now the only problem is here is that while we're benefiting ourselves, we're also benefiting the purple deck because they had no cards in their hand, so they're getting a completely fresh hand with this, which is pretty crazy. Some very large Eldrazi out right now. And that is quite the threat. Alright. Let's see what this deck draws first. And then it'll be its turn. Actually, no. So let's start with this one Prairie Street. Reflector Mage. Nice. Dark Petition. Very nice. Shambling Vent. Island. Sunken Hollow. And Reflector Mage. Alright, that double reflector mage is going to be very, very nice. And we have the white source we need. And this deck will draw Scion Summoner, Seek the Wilds, Corrupted Crossroads, Oath of Nyssa, Forest, Scion Summoner, and another Bane of Volaged. Wow. Alright. So let's untap all this crap. So we can play a lot of things. We can start with a Foil Corrupted Crossroads as our land. And let's do probably a second Bane of All again. Two, 
other side. Gum up this board a little bit. <laughs> and then let's do tap another one for Oath of Nyssa. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top three cards. You may reveal a creature, land, or a planeswalker, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom. So one, two, three. Wow. Okay, we're taking the other Nyssa for sure. this Nissa to put a counter on everything. Which is absolutely insane. So bastards here. We search for a basic forest, and we will have seven or more lands. Or no, we put that into our hand. Never mind. So she'll flip next turn. Let's search for a forest. Put it into our hand. Close the forest. So next turn we play the land. She will flip. So that was an insane turn. Let's see if we just win. <laughs> now let's just do a tap the Scion Summoner and um, um, yeah let's tap the Scion Summoner and sacrifice the Scion for Seek the Wilds look at the top four cards, reveal a creature or land put it in your hand Okay. So now let's see what happens. Attack with the Brood Monitor. Bane of Balagad. Second Bane of Balagad. Wait, did we, did we play that this turn? We did. This turn has just been so long. And World Breaker. So, we exile two permanents from here. So let's exile the zombie. And let's exile a swamp. Uh, I don't think we... Yeah, we don't have a... I mean, we do this. We don't have any blocks, so we're going to take seven... 23. Wow. Okay, guys. Half an hour in. The game has been decided. <laughs> that was extreme. Um, I wonder... Let me see if I can do that math differently. Let's sack both of those and keep this and then block the, uh, the bane. And we take 7... We're still in this. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> okay. Now that that's over with, let's try that again. Alright, we're gonna hit him with some reflector mages. Let's start the prairie stream for that second white. And then let's get a couple reflector mages down. So white, blue, whatever. Reflector mage targeting being a ball again. Mage targeting World Breaker, I guess. Or nah, I think this, the other Bane is the is a Bane of our existence right now, and that is all we can do for the moment. Let's.
that's uh, plus Narset again. Let's see if we can get another card in our hand. It's another Narset. <laughs> so we can put it into our hand. Okay. Now I guess we just pass and see what happens. Uh, I think this might be the end. So we draw. That's a forest. We'll plus one Nissa. And then we'll choose to bury this Nissa. And then we're going to um, let's bury the top card of our library. It's a land, we put it on the battlefield. If it's not, we put it into our hand. Alright, so we can't cast Bane of All Good. We can cast some catacomb sifters, so let's do that. Alright, six or two catacomb sifters. So we'll get two scions. Let's go ahead and do a scion summoner. Get another scion. number of creatures yeah that's game so guys that is uh <laughs> that was my esper control deck versus my eldrazi ramp deck the eldrazi ramp deck did much better but there are some good cards in here that were not drawn so anyways thanks for watching i hope this is relaxing to you let me know what you thought about it in the comments below have a nice day